So look, we just got started. Fresh off the plane a couple hours ago, we're here with Seuss for Seniors. As soon as I walked in, they were finishing the activity from last week, designing business plans. They up, and the CEO's up, about to give us slogans and some mottos. Tell us a little bit about their business. I'm excited to hear about this, and then we're gonna dive right into vision, which is cool. And we're gonna talk about Nike and Google today, turn them into business from owners themselves. So, y'all know the motto. Keep working, things come true every day. do this, this is all Investor, right, and it also is to work on your speaking. Because whenever you go anywhere, whether it's the classroom, whether it's your work site, you need to speak confidently and articulate whatever you got to say. All right, good day, guys. My name is Dejan. My company is NRG. When you say fast, it's like energy. Uh, it stands for Next Revolutionary Generation. RTR, which is Road to Riches. Hi, my name is Ricky Morville. I'm the CFO of Nice Networking Intelligent Creative Entrepreneurs. That's Clifton, and that's Wasabi, part of the group. Our service is we teach people how to start a business, basically become entrepreneurs. Our slogan is begin living. All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Keen Williams. I'm the CEO of Lions Pride International. My chief financial officer is Jeremiah Jameson. Chief officer of operations will be Geraldo Gonzalez, and my vice president of management will be Oliver Sesson. And we would be located, our headquarters is in Los Angeles. about myself real quick. I'm Patrick Walker Reese. I grew up in Chicago on the south side. Uh, my dad was a two time fella. <laughs> my mom addicted to drugs. Uh, my dad got out about a year ago. Um, and this was the first thing he saw on my website. So he went and he started hitting me on IG, like under my pictures. I had to DM him, like, yo, you gotta chill, bro. Um, I was able to say I was taken in by, by another family early on. Why do I tell you that? Oftentimes when I deal with young men, everybody's got something that they've been through, going through. Um, but life don't really care if you're keeping it 100. How many of y'all trying to go to college next year? The only place where what you've been through matters is in that college essay. That's the place to put it all out there. That's when they care. Because that shows why you need to be here. I come from this, I went through this. Why you only like yours? <laughs> And so most of the time, so what I do for a living, I have a company called Aspire. Aspire specializes in highly educational, motivational presentations and workshops. What does that mean? I travel around the country and teach people how to make their dreams come true for them. Seven years ago, I called my mom. I was working at a nonprofit, like a Boys and Girls Club or Community Center. Y'all got something down there? And I was like, yo, mom, I'm finna quit. I'm finna call, I'm finna, I wanna travel the world and teach people about how to make their dreams come true. What y'all think my mama said? She was like, well, she was a little supportive, right? Mom was like, That's true, man. Please don't do But we take that into our dream. What we want to talk about now is how do you, one, know who you are, know what makes you different, and then apply pressure so folks got to pay what they weigh. All right, dreams come true? Every day. Every day. Dreams come true. Let's cover a couple questions, then we're going to dive right in. Any questions that we got so far, just in case I don't wait to the end and we run out of time. What's going on? How long you been speaking? So I've been speaking almost my whole life. I've been speaking professionally as a career. I started my business, got my LLC in 2012. So January, December 2012 when I quit my job, January is when I started speaking professionally. Like, you gotta pay me if I wanna do So six years later, we're going on seven. Good question. What was the first time that you asked for uh, 10,000? Speaker because of 2016. with other people. Yeah. Because I, so my, my dad was my dad was locked up. I knew that as early as two or three. My mom was on drugs. I knew that as early as twenty two or three. And my natural gift was communicating. Like just because I guess nobody ever really. I, I never had a chance to like be a baby. Like I remember going to like get cigarette from the store and sour cream and onion chips early, right? And so I was able to communicate, but I was also smart as hell. So I went to like smart schools. And so my school didn't look like my neighborhood, if that makes sense. And so I was able in a day to go from, yo, why are you? Yeah, that's a lot. So the shit, what's up? And then when I grew up and got into college, that was such a universal skill. And what I realized is that the people that really make it in the world are the people that have that ability to know both sides. Like I know people that's really, really good, and that's like, bro, you gotta know a little bit about this. I know people was really, really rich. They're like, bro, you got to lock your door over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so that middle lane, and then the last thing was me knowing my, like being honest. Like just being 100% honest. I was in DC and I was talking to the kids about, you know, some of 
sometimes you have to have a kerosene heater or if the water go out, you know what I mean? You got to boil the water and put it in the tub, you know what I'm saying? And the kids are like, nine, I told the, the, the eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. All right, now caption, two sentences, one or two sentences, strong sentences, what did you write? What did you draw? Say that the only people that achieve that way are people that are crazy enough to think that way. I don't end up in front of you if I don't one day be like, you know what? It's got to be more than life to this. And the reason why I love this group right here or this time of your life is because this is the, your heart. I want you to do it. I want you to get in the habit of drawing out what you want in your life. Whether it's print it out. If you want a new house, print it out. Put it up. If you want a new car, print it out. Put it up. You want to go to the door? Come on, let's go to the steps to pursue the happiness. Cool. Three claps. Make sure y'all speak up. We want to make sure we capture this so y'all can use this, get some money for the program. I am Marquis Brown, and I, my biggest takeaway today is that you have to have a plan to have a successful job. Exactly. Three claps. I am Demetri Jasmine. My biggest takeaway today is that I have to set goals for myself, like my daily goals to accomplish what I want to. Three claps. Y'all have daily goals, y'all. I am Derek Cottrell, and the biggest takeaway I had today was that you have to write down your vision, otherwise it doesn't matter. Three claps. I am Caleb Pines. My biggest takeaway is that you have to commit and dedicate your time into doing what you want to do in the future. How often? 24-7. Every day. Every day. I'm Steven Shotkin, and my biggest takeaway is that you have to stick to your plans and stick to your goals to be successful. Certainly. Three claps. I am Armand Dijon. I am Armand Dijon, and my biggest takeaway is, you know, writing down my plan for the future and putting it on my wall so I can face it in the future. Three claps. Three claps. Um, my name is Carlos Zayera, and my biggest takeaway today was that uh, every day you have a new opportunity to uh, achieve your goal. Every day. Uh, also, okay, uh, I'm Carlos Zayera, and. I'll be an ABCO with an engineer degree, traveling around the world, saving lives, and building new things, new things with new technology. Three claps. ABCO. Uh, huh? ABCO. Yeah, I'm trying to be an ABCO. Cool, cool. So when you retire, you come work for me like LeBron. You know LeBron got an ABCO. Oh well, for sure. I just want to have one follow me. All right. <laughs> my name is Asabi Miller, and my biggest takeaway is that you have to, whatever you do, do it right now. Make a specific time or forget about it. There we go. Do it right now. Make a specific time or do what? Forget about it. Three claps. My name is Geraldo Gonzalez, and my biggest takeaway is to have a vision that's big, unrealistic, and helpful to others. Ooh. Um, my name is Clifton Tulsa, and my biggest takeaway is to stay focused and is keep on and not procrastinate, just keep on staying on track. There you go. No procrastination. Last but not least. Um, my name is Jeremiah Jameson. I, mean, I am Jeremiah Jameson. And my biggest takeaway is that time and precision can create your future. Cool. Three claps. Stand up, we in all of our sessions this way. Y'all repeat after me. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Say, say this part like you mean it, man. We're not talking about me, we're talking about you. So repeat after me. The person I want to be tomorrow. You gotta start being that person today. The person I want to be tomorrow. I gotta work like that person today. And the person I want to be tomorrow. I am that person. I am that person today. Show somebody some love, man. I appreciate y'all for being here. I appreciate y'all for being here. Appreciate y'all for being here.